Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are checking out Claude Clawmark within the back room. Now, I'm really excited about this. A lot of you have really been recommending that I check this out. So let's just get into it. I'm ready to hit play in three, two, one, play. <sighs> Okay. Nice. Okay. Had me a little worried for a minute. I was like, are we going to get this suppression throughout the whole song? But no, it's just the intro. Okay. So we're playing around with some not only layered tracks, but also kind of like these little subtle uh flavor tracks or uh, for the vocals in the mix just kind of subtly like we have that like same suppression filter on the subtle little supporting tracks in the in the mix so and, and we have that like right after the main vocal too so it's kind of like reinforcing the emphasis of that main vocal right there Mm. That sounds, I like how his voice sounds there. That sounds solid. Okay. Nice. I like he went into the scream and then straight into the belting. That was super clean. And I, I like that rasp as well. You know, that, that was really, really solid. And, and we're really putting a lot of digital distortion in the back, which honestly, you know, for me personally, I don't think it needs that much. I, I really don't think it needs that much digital distortion because we're, we're getting that intensity from the vocals. Um, but even so, I, I really like how he's playing his voice to this. Mm. Nice. And, and I will say, with, those, with that distortion in the back of the mix, I will say those keys really pop out. And it's really nice. Because having that um, relatively clean treble tonality just popping in through the mix really really helps you grasp onto something as you're going through that distortion in the instrumentation on the vocal side of things he's rocking it i, I love what he's doing I, I will say you know obviously i have um I, i've said this many times before i i have a kind of a preference against um vocal suppression and like overdoing effects on vocals but i i don't think they're really obscuring him too much i think he's doing a solid uh, a solid job here um both the mixer and the vocalist here so you know i i personally don't really like how the suppression fits in because i think we could get a lot more of his voice through it but i will say for this aesthetic and for how we're putting it together this is still really solid I, i'm still really enjoying this Nice. And having those just those forceful keys as well adds so much intensity to the mix. Mm, nice. I, I like how we actually, as we're coming out of the previous segment and into that little finish, that little like flavorful finish for the vocal, we actually had another vocal track come in from the bottom and match us there. That was really, really nice. Mm, okay. I like that guitar tone. That's nice. Nice. I, I really, really like how we're using bass vocal support there. Um, I, you know, I will say, you know, for all my little nitpicks on vocal suppression, I, I don't think we're doing a bad job of using it here. I think we are fitting the aesthetic and we're not really doing too much obscuring of his vocal demeanor or anything like that we're just kind of adding to the song which is adding to the aesthetic and i think that's a perfect way to use vocal suppression um that said i i would like to hear a bit more of his clean voice in there but that's just my personal preference 
I like how those layering sound. Mm. Mm. See, he sounds really nice there. I, I love how clean he sounds for that part. Nice. I like how we're also writing that, um, you, you know, before where we would have had more of a clean key, and now we're kind of adding more of this um, keyboard synth uh, instrument uh, instrumentation track where we would have had a bit more cleaner keys before. And I think it's working. I think it's working really well for that subtle progression of just... The, the entire song uh, i mean it adds so much just those keys because I, those are all honestly carrying a lot of our treble intensity in the mix so having those keys even the slightest change in them i mean your treble is always going to be super clear in your mix so especially when you have little changes like that it adds a lot to your progression of the song it adds a lot to your dynamics in the tracks so it, i i'm loving how we're managing that on the mix side on the vocal side of things he is doing an amazing job i love the passion in his voice he's projecting so much and he's putting his all into it and i love it back into those impact keys All right, little interjection here. Nice. See, that, that is like the perfect way to use vocal suppression right there. I, I love how he did that. Uh, or I suppose, however, whoever was mixing this did that. We had just, you know, just like this interjection narrative part where, you know, normally we might have like an instrumental breakdown and instrumental interjection there. That's fine. We have some suppression on the vocals there, kind of play into the narrative, play into the story, get that interjection in there, and then have that awesome juxtaposition between the clean vocal, that clean main vocal that we're about to introduce. It adds so much to that. I love how we're doing that. That sounds amazing. It, it adds so much when you have that juxtaposition between the suppressed vocal and just a solid clean vocal. Even if you don't add a lot to the mix for that clean vocal, which here we actually did. We did actually have an impact here for that transition. But even if you don't, you're still going to have an impact from just that juxtaposition, just that duality. So I, I love how we're doing that. <laughs> nice. That was some really nice voice acting there. Well, I mean, singing and voice acting. <laughs> that was awesome. I love how he did that. You can hear that vocal wavering, that uneasiness, the cracking. Right there, just right on that switch, you can hear he cracks his voice and then plays into it, gets that wavering in it. That sounds so good. <laughs> nice. And a little cutout for our transition as well. And back to those classic key impacts. Nice. I love how the layered vocal sounds there, especially like right before 
we, uh, we get this really really nice uh bass layered vocals especially right before our transitions uh, particularly this transition here um where we go right into our guitar it sounds so nice i, I love the bass supporting vocal there which i i do think there probably is some suppression on there but because of his raspiness and his growling it, it doesn't really stand out in a bad way it sounds it stands out in a good way it stands out in a really really good way All right. I like the layered vocals here. Nice. Reference to intro. Classic. Nice. I mean, I, it, that's just a little love letter to me. He, he, just, he just chose to do the clean vocal just for me. But I, I love that. That was awesome. Um, you know, I think having that clean vocal at the end is a really, really, I mean, I was about to mention it. I was like thinking, okay, I, I should probably mention, I, I don't like how they're ending on the suppression. And then boom, we get that clean vocal there. I, I really, really love that. That was awesome. I, I, I think overall, this is just a really cool way to do just a, a, a simple, you know, a, the song itself I don't know what the original sounds like, so I can't comment too much on it. But I, I will say it doesn't necessarily sound like a song that was composed in a way that was made to be overly attentive to vocal discipline or vocal technicality. It was more so getting that emotion in, getting that voice acting in. Well, I say voice acting, just get, getting that emotion in, getting that intensity for the narrative, right? And then on top of that, having our instrumentals, interacting with that, showcasing the vocals, getting those big moments across. Um, and I, I think we did that very well in the cover here, but I think we also added a lot of showcasing of our vocalist. Um, I, I mean, there, especially on those like duality moments, like I said, I love when they do like just a bit of suppression for an unimportant segment, and then they go straight into showcasing the the clean vocal or the main vocal or it, it just sounds so good it, it it's such a good way to highlight your main vocal while not you know having an overly active mix having overly active instrumentation so i i, I love how that was handled i love what we did there and i i'd love to hear claude sing something else later i i mean i hope he continues to make covers and and original songs um and let me know if he has uh this is the first thing i believe i'm seeing from claude clawmark i i don't think i knew about him though i could be mistaken maybe we have seen him in like some group uh cover or something that i missed um but yeah this was really really fun thank you very much for recommending that i check this out and as always if you would recommend more things for me to check out in the comments below Aside from that, I will see you all next time, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more reactions like this. Thanks so much.